Hi, this is Squat. Now in this video, I want to tell you about the stem cell signaling. An entire human comes from one cell, and this one cell is the fusion of sperm and an egg. And this one cell, people call this zygote, and another way of calling this is the embryonic stem cell. But even in this adult, throughout the body, you can find adult stem cells and these adult stem cells are tissue specific. For example, you have adult stem cells in skin that's going to make your skin cells and you have adult stem cells in the GI tract that's going to make the uh, GI tract cells. And uh, these adult stem cells in the marrow will make the uh, blood cells. So they are tissue specific. And these adult stem cells have to also be in their own niche and this niche is a local uh, cluster of cells that secrete lots of lots of signaling uh, molecules that will nourish and uh, maintain the stem cell in this niche for example here is a uh, GI a crypt and these are the food um, the food will bump into the wall of the GI tract and the cells here have to absorb the bumps and also um, absorb the nutrients. And these cells, they turn over pretty quickly. They die in a couple of days. And when they die, the cells underneath it will uh, differentiate to become these cells and take their roles, defend, absorb nutrient, die, and the new cells will just move up and fill the empty space. Now, for this to happen, there is a cell here, and that is one of the adult stem cells, the GI stem cell. And this cell will make precursor cells that will eventually differentiate and move up, become this uh, finally differentiated GI epithelial cells. Now here, the cells next to this stem cell, and also the cells underneath it or nearby, Together they make up the niche and this niche allows this stem cell to function fully, make many progenitors and also the niche uh, signal the progenitors to differentiate and grow and uh, become this final differentiated cell. It turns out that you just need one stem cell to recreate the entire niche and the stem cell together with the niche can recreate this entire tissue. You just need one to create this entire tissue. Remember, you just needed one to create the entire human. Adult stem cell, you just need one to create that entire tissue or sometimes the organ. Now let's talk about the signaling. The stem cell gets signal from the niche and with this signal, stem cell can divide and become itself but also divide and uh, create this uh, precursor cell that will eventually become less of a precursor and more of a final cell. This is cell A, state one, cell A, state two, dot, 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 cell A, state seven, dot, 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 cell A, state final. And this final state is the functioning uh, cell of that tissue. And this driving force comes from the niche and this molecule that drives it is the wind molecule. Stem cells can also secrete wind molecules and as the um, cells become more and more differentiated, they secrete less and less of the wind molecule. So near here, you have more growth signal and then that growth signal decreases as cells become differentiated or you go far away from the niche. And this is a key, the stem cell local environment, all this signal, the magic takes place locally. And that's why the niche is very important for stem cells. And now as the number of this uh, differentiated cells increase, they start to uh, secrete this molecule called TGF beta less here, a little bit more here, a little bit more here, much more here. And the role of the TGF beta is to uh, halt the cell division 
and the TGF beta also works locally and the TGF beta will uh, halt the cell division and drives this cartoon to the left. And this is a nice negative feedback. And this negative feedback using Wnt to drive differentiation and TGF beta to slow the differentiation growth division is a uh, nearly universal in stem cell and other cell signalings. However, there's no universal stem cell marker. So there's no one gene or protein or a handful of uh, uh, such that can mark a cell to be stem cell. So you can't just look at gene expression, protein to say this cell is a stem cell. You have to actually mark a cell with some kind of marker and then track the time course and then see if these cells all of these also have that marker. If these cells come from that one specific cell that you marked, then all of these cells should have the stem cell marker. Without that tracing, you cannot identify a cell to be a stem cell. So different tissue specific stem cells have their own uh, unique signaling feedbacks, but the logic is similar to this Wnt TGF beta uh, signaling where you have some mo local molecules that drive the growth and as there's more output they secrete other molecule that's going to slow down the growth and finally when you identify the driving molecule and other molecules that niche provide for this stem cell to create progenitors and for them to differentiate then you can take this stem cell in a dish put it here and add these molecules to the dish and recreate this entire architecture on a dish. Once you know what those um, molecules, chemicals are, you can grow the tissue on a dish.